The other possibility for controlling quakes or releasing them at a convenient time, if there can be convenient times, came to light in Denver in the early 1960s. Denver was previously a rather stable city with little in the way of quakes, but suddenly was hit between 1962 and 1965 by about 700 quakes. They came as something of a shock to many of the Denver residents. The responsibility was finally traced to the U.S. Army, which for three years had been pumping the liquid wastes, about 150 million gallons of it, down a three-mile deep hole, um, the wastes being the result of nerve gas experiments. And like oil on a brake drum, this fluid had lubricated a fault which ran right through the position of the well. The 150 million gallons uh, lubricated that fault and the um, injection of the waste correlated very, very clearly with the occurrence of the quakes. The conclusions drawn from the Denver experience have been applied in an old oil field area in order to uh, control and stimulate the occurrence of quakes. This area became very sensitive due to the daily injection of 10 to 12 million gallons of water to force oil to the surface. Now the periodic injection of further water uh, stimulates quakes, and when water is not injected, the quakes become fewer.